What's good ladies and gentlemen, I'm Michael and today we're going to be talking about what you should look for in a personal trainer. Now, we don't all need personal trainers, they're not necessary, but they can only help, um, especially if you can afford the budget to hire one. Now, we're going to get into this and at the end of the video, I do have a special offer for you and this is a limited time offer and you could probably already guess what it's going to be. Um, but maybe you're completely oblivious or you're dying of eager to figure out what it is. If that's the case, go to this timestamp up here. Otherwise, watch the video all the way through and it will be towards the end. Without further ado, let's get into this video. The number one thing you want to consider when hiring a personal trainer is do they know their stuff? What is their knowledge base? Now, you can prepare a few questions that you may have in advance if you want to gauge their knowledge level but you need to be careful because just because you're not a good speaker doesn't mean you don't have a lot of knowledge so that's something you're going to have to gauge on your own and just because oh michael they're a certified personal trainer there's a lot of freaking freaking certified personal trainers out there um, in a lot of people's opinion, there's not enough screening that goes in to get that certificate to be called a personal trainer. So just because you have a personal trainer certificate doesn't mean you're a good personal trainer. It just means that you have a base block of knowledge to call yourself a personal trainer. And that brings us to number two, which is certification. Do they have any... Um, do they have any awards? Do they have any recognition? Now, this is not as crucial as the other categories that we're going to get into because it's very hard to differentiate yourself from the other personal trainers out there. But for those world-renowned personal trainers, it definitely is a huge boost to their portfolio. The third thing we want to consider is how they carry themselves, right? Because if your number one goal is to get strong, you better hope that that coach is strong. If you want to get lean and mean, if you want to uh, get shredded to the bone, but your uh, bodybuilding coach is fat, again, these should be two red flags flashing in your head. Because if they can't implement their own knowledge into their own lifestyle, how are you expected to? You could have all the knowledge in the world, but if they can't implement it and they can't integrate it into their own life, that's another red light that should flash. Another thing we should consider is the cost. Can you afford a celebrity personal trainer? For 99% of us, it's going to be no. And for 99.9% .9 of us, it's that's not even a question because we even if we did we wouldn't spend that much on a personal trainer so we need to figure out how much we're willing to spend and then be able to find the best personal trainer in that budget to get the most bang for our buck the next thing we want to look at is availability if a personal trainer can only work with you one day a week within this one hour frame that's another red flag because if something were to happen, something unfortunate and something not planned, it's going to be a lot harder for you to get back on that program. And it's if they're not going to be flexible with you, it's going to be a lot harder to stick with it. So we want to look at that. We also want to look at their reputation. Now, they probably don't have transformation um, pictures of their trainees, but ask what the average... Um, trainee uh, term is right because if their trainees aren't sticking with them for a month that's going to be a red flag a huge red flag if their trainees aren't sticking with them that's a huge red flag but if they have loyal trainees that come back over and over and over again and they've been training the same people for years that probably means they're a pretty good trainer also we want to look at their personality, right? Um, and this is going to be something that's harder to explain, but essentially what they say, does it click with you? A good personal trainer should be able to explain things in multiple different ways. Um, but you're going to know what I mean when certain trainers are going to click with you and others are going to be 
spitting gibberish and you're going to have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. And this is going to be more crucial for those personal human interactions than it is on online coaching, but it is something that you want to consider. Now it's infomercial time. Now I'm going to pitch you on why you should let me be your personal trainer. And before you click away, I'm going to tell you that as of the making of this video, it is completely free to have me be your personal trainer. Um, but let me pitch you on this first, right? So I know a lot more than most people when it comes to exercise and nutrition, and I'm still learning to this day. And I think that it's very important that you still learn because um, research is coming out every single day, conflicting and supporting. And I'm actually going to a university to study exercise science. So I'll be up to date with the latest research and I'm always improving. Also, I have a plethora of videos on my YouTube channel. Um, at the making of this video, I believe it's a round of a, a hundred of informative content, and that's only going to increase with time. Additionally, it's free, so your budget isn't going to be a problem, and I check my emails every single morning. So I'm going to be able to respond to you within a day, um, so you're never going to be left on edge. Additionally, I've helped family and friends locally um, achieve their goals and help, I'm helping those that are still striving towards their, goal, towards, the, towards their goals. But what I've found is the main determinant is their commitment level and whether they stick with it or not, right? Because a person training on a bad program is going to see more results than someone training on a good program that quits. Now, our objective here is to make sure that you're committed and that you have the best program for you. Now, if you do need technique advice, maybe just one time, maybe you want continual technique advice to advance your lifts. Maybe you want help on integrating a new nutrition or exercise program. Maybe you want to continue it. All you have to do, it's really simple, go down to the description box down below. Email me at my personal email and title it at the subject, personal training. Follow the guidelines down below, super simple. I hope to see you guys really soon. That's all I got for this video, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.